Good morning, everybody. Um, I thought the logo in that truck was a perfect introduction to this segment uh, because it's uh, the WASH Media Awards um, concentrating on hygiene and sanitation. As a reporter covering global development issues for The Guardian, I'm quite aware that hygiene and sanitation don't always get their due from politicians or the media, but things may be changing. As Therese Dooley of UNICEF told my colleague John Vidal here this week, she said, before we were not even allowed to say toilets or defecation, but now we see UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon using these words, which greatly increases exposure and awareness of the issue. And earlier this month, I wrote a story about Reinvent the Toilet, a competition sponsored by the Gates Foundation to find a toilet that can capture and process waste without pipe water. It was one of the most read stories in the Guardian's global development website. Which uh, brings us to the awards, because these awards recognize and support the crucial role of the media in raising awareness of the importance of water, sanitation, and hygiene services, which brings me to the point that Peter was making about educating um, population about these key issues. Their purpose is to promote coverage of WASH issues in the media in rich and poor countries and to develop a relationship between the media and the WASH sector. This year, there were 150 entries from 40 countries, and we are here to honor the six winners in their categories. To highlight their entries, we're going to have a short film first. It's not working, we can't do it, so. <laughs> Technicians. Yeah, besides speaking before the coffee break is always a perilous moment because you know that everybody's dying to get to the coffee and biscuits. So um, let's get to the awards. Uh, I'd like to invite uh, Amanda Marlin, Acting Executive Director of WSSCC, and Tony, um, who will give out the awards. Th they are the organizations responsible for the awards. So uh, here they are. The award winners themselves, uh, I'm going to, we'll, we'll have them come to the stage uh, all at once. First, Alain Tosunon, winner in the print and online category for <laughs> his story uh, is Accès à l'eau potable dans la commune de Soava, une conquête périlleuse pour la survie roughly translated means access to drinking water in the commune of Soava, a perilous struggle for survival. This was a really beautifully written piece of uh, journalism, really leapt out at me. Um, uh, it was written by someone with an eye of a novelist, which weaves together water, sanitation, hygiene, and politics. Uh, Next, the TV category award goes to Berta Tilmantaite for outlining water, sanitation, and hygiene challenges within the Yongding River in China. The River Runs Back is a vivid, entertaining, and extremely proficient TV making. Next is the Cartoon and Photos category prize, which is presented to Francis Odupute, the strategist. Using humor, the author clearly highlights an all too common water issue throughout the world.
In the high income category, the award goes to Francesca de Chatel. Water around the Mediterranean. Highlighting water issues throughout the Mediterranean, it demonstrates strong uh, investigative talent and it was an incredibly thorough piece of work. So, well done. In the economics of sanitation category, the award goes to Ketan Trivedi for underlining the connection between wash issues. Alchemy of earning money through waste and making a village clean, hygienic and lovely demonstrates the effectiveness of grassroots action and how it can inspire others. Uh, before I thank uh, my colleagues on the jury, uh, I should acknowledge some sad news because uh, Noma Neseni, a passionate advocate of sanitation for all and a member of the WSSCC steering committee, has passed away. So um, I'd just like to mention uh, her and pay tribute to her. Um, and I'd like to thank members, my, my colleagues on the jury. Uh, they did most of, the, most of the work, they did the hard work, and I just came in at the last moment, really. So thank you very much to Vinaya Deshpande from the Hindu newspaper of India, Fazila De Hall, executive producer of Channel Africa, SABC South Africa, John Sawyer, executive director of the Pulitzer Center on Crisis Reporting in the US, and Olivier Niru Buraga, our French juror and senior trainer from the Voices of Africa Media Foundation, Rwanda and the Netherlands. I'd like to say a special thanks to Eileen Palmer, who was uh, amazingly efficient and unflappable in organizing the awards, and to Rami Abdulrahman and Britt Louise Anderson of Siwi for organizing events at Stockholm Water Week. And most importantly, Thank you and congratulations to the winners who shone a light on this important but neglected issue. So, well done. <laughs>